So Clerk has recently introduced Clerk Billing. That means now we can integrate complete billing section inside our app within just like literally a couple of minutes. So let's suppose if you're developing any kind of SaaS product. So by using Clerk, not only you can build a complete authentication system that allows you to create social logins and complete authentication system with just like one single click. But now with Clerk Billing, without any extra hassle, now you can actually build your complete subscription management system, your complete billing and payment module using Clerk as well. You can simply just connect your Stripe account and then you can start managing all of your payments and all of your users from one dashboard. So in this video, I'll show you that how easy it is to use Clerk to create an authentication system for your app and also to create the complete billing system for your app as well. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right. So to start using Clerk, just go to clerk.com and just sign up and then you can start using Clerk right away. You are not required to attach any sort of like credit cards or anything because you can start using Clerk absolutely for free. And in this free plan, Clerk allows you to have up to 10,000 monthly active users, which is like more than enough for you. 10,000 monthly active users mean your application is already successful. So until then, you can just like start using their free plan. So once you're signed up, simply just go to your dashboard. Simply just click on this dashboard button. And now from here, simply just create an empty project. Simply just click on this create application button. Just give your application a name. I'll just give it a name Clerk Test. And now this is how easy and simple it is to add any of these social logins. You're not required to provide any sort of like API keys, you can simply just click on any of these buttons and it will add that login into your application. So let's suppose if you want to add login with Google, you can simply just click on this button and it will add login with Google into your application. Similarly, if you want to add login with Apple, and similarly, just like go ahead and choose any of these options from here, whatever suits your application, you can just like add any of those logins from here. You are not required to provide any sort of like API keys. So let's suppose without using Clerk, if I wanted to add Apple login into my application, so I had to like create an Apple account. And after that, like I had to like go through a lot of steps to create an API key and then provide that API key in my source code. And then I would have been able to like add Apple login into my app. But from here, you can simply just click on any of these toggles and then you can just add any of these logins directly into your application. So this is how simple and easy it is. Once you have selected, simply just click on this create application button and that's it. That's what you're required to do from Clerk's side. And now what Clerk will do, it will give you all of these different steps now to integrate it inside your project. But if you are lazy like me and if you're like a vibe coder, you're not required to like copy anything from here. All you can do, you can simply just click on this copy prompt button and then you can provide it inside your code editor. You can use cursor or windsurf or tray or maybe like my favorite one augment code so just use any of the ai code editors and then you can simply just provide this prompt in there but before you move to that step just have a look at this so you can see right here clerk supports all of these different platforms so if you're developing a nexus project you can easily integrate clerk into that similarly if you're developing a react project or remix project or maybe an expo app a mobile application or an ios application or maybe a simple javascript project or even if you're developing like a chrome extension Clerk supports that too as well. So you can just like easily integrate into any of these platforms simply. So all you can do, so first let's just create an empty Next.js project and then after that integrate this into our project. And then next step will be to integrate billing and subscriptions into our project. So just open your favorite code editor. I'm just going to open VS Code. So this is the simple command that you can use to create an empty Next.js project. I'll press enter and now I'll just give a name to my project. I'll give it a name Clerk test pro simply just go with all of the default options and right now you can see my empty next or just project is created i'm using augment code as my ai code editor you can use like cursor or windsurf or like tray or anything so i'm just using augment code so i'll simply just click on this index code base button and now augment code is ready what i can do i can simply just provide that prompt so i can just go back to clerk that dashboard and from here i can simply just copy this prompt from here and then i can just provide this prompt in here and you can see this is the detail that is provided in this prompt and in here you can see it has provided all of these different instructions and even it has provided these environment variables as well which is amazing and now it has brought like a complete guideline that how you can integrate a complete authentication system into your application so you can simply just press enter and now it will just like start writing code the process is similar if you're using vs code or maybe like cursor or windsurf the process is absolutely simple and now you can see augment code has just installed this clerk package for nextjs and after that 
it has created this environment variable and now it is creating this middleware dot ts file that and after that layout dot tsx file so basically it is following all of this instruction that was provided in that prompt so it is just like going to follow that instruction and then integrate the complete authentication system for our app and now just within a couple of minutes you can see clerk has completed this integration now let's just test it it is now running on local host so i'll just open that and now you can see this is the default nexus page but on here on top you can see this is sign in and sign up pages i'll simply just click on this sign up button i'll simply just click on this sign up button and now it will open our clerk sign up so this is our clerk sign up page this is the sign up design you can completely customize that of course so you can see we integrated login with apple and login with google so both of them are integrated as it is i can simply just click on this login with google button right now and then i can just log in using my email address so i just clicked on login i can simply click on continue and now my login has been successful and in here on this top left you can see this is my profile it is showing my profile in here i can simply just click on that and from here you can see this is the manage account button and you can see this is the complete authentication system fully integrated using clerk within literally just two minutes now next up is integrating billing and subscription so you can simply just go back to your clerk dashboard make sure that you have selected your app from here after that make sure that you are on this screen from here you can simply just click on this subscription tab simply just click on that and from here you can simply just click on this get started button just click on that now it will show you this screen from here you are now required to create a plan because if you're adding billing and payment system into your app you need a subscription plan so to do that you can simply just click on this create a payment plan button and from here it will allow you to add a plan so there is this by default free plan you can simply just click on this add plan button and now you can just give it a name i can just give it a pro plan and now just give it a slug and just give it a description this is a pro plan and now let's just give it a price price maybe will be 12 dollars now just give it give an annual discount so let's suppose if you wanna like someone wanna subscribe to their annual your annual plan you can just like give them a discount if they subscribe to your annual plan so you can just like provide them instead of paying 12 dollars per month they can pay 10 dollars per month so per year it will be like 120 per year so that's amazing price should be available publicly that's fine now you can actually add features so let's suppose if you wanna like have certain features which are restricted for certain plans so you can just like create any of the feature details in here that let's suppose if there is any ai features that we wanna like hide behind a paywall you can just like add all of those features in here you can just like list everything in here so whatever app you're developing it will vary based on your requirements but you can easily just add any of the features in here you can just add a new feature so let's suppose this is the feature one and now i'll just add description and then simply just create a create feature button and that's it our one feature has been added in here after that you can simply just click on the save button and that's it now your plan is created it and now you actually are ready to integrate this inside your application and in here you can see we have our free plan and we got our pro plan as well and now next step is simply just click on this enable billing button and now it will enable our billing and next step is we can simply just click on this read billing guide simply just click on this button and this is the complete billing guide so now if your SaaS product is let's suppose for b2c like business to customers you're directly selling to customers or maybe you're directly selling to businesses so you can like have both of these approaches in here so let's suppose if my SaaS product is for b2c only so i will simply just click on that if your SaaS product is for b2b so there is a little bit different in there because in b2b people who have purchased your plan they can actually add more users into their plan and into in b2c they can simply just like like buy a plan and after that they can they can just like start using your pro, pro version so that that is the only difference you can just like go through in, in further detail and you can see further details about b2p and b2c so this is the documentation for b2c first step which was required was enable billing i have already done that next step is connecting your stripe account you can simply just like connect to your stripe account as well after that there is create a plan we have already created a plan after that add features to a plan we have already done that after that create a pricing page now we can actually create a pricing page and this is how simple it is to add your pricing component your pricing table on your pricing page so you can simply just like create a new pricing component and then after that you can just create a page.tsx file and then after that you can simply just add this line of code in there and then you can just like add easily in there but I know you are vibe coder you don't want to like bother with writing code or like well, like doing it yourself so what we can do you can simply just copy it from here and after that i can simply just like 
paste that inside VS Code. I can go back to our augment code and I can just explain it. So I've just provided all of that content from there in inside my augment code. I can simply just press enter and now it will like start implementing. What it will do, it will create a new page which will be a pricing page and after that it will now integrate clerk pricing into our project. Right now you can see it is going to create a pricing component inside our source slash app slash slash pricing and then it is going to create page.esx for that pricing component and then it will add that pricing table in there okay so augment code has just finished writing code and now you can see in here inside app there is a pricing component in here and there is page.esx file and in here you can see it has added this pricing table component so let's just go ahead and test it this is what it has been done so far a new pricing page was created after that there is a clerk's pricing table component added after that just like created a fax faq section and after that there was a slash premium protected content as well so there is a protected content which is on this slash premium button only accessible once users make the payment so this is our app running on the local host and this is the premium content you can see we are already logged in but i cannot access this premium content to access this premium content i need to subscribe to one of the premium plans so to do that i can simply just click on this view pricing plans i can simply just click on that and now you can see there is this free plan which is currently active which, which was by default active as soon as user created the account and now to subscribe to this pro plan you can simply just click on the subscribe button and then it will show this payment section in here and now we can actually pay with our test card you can see by default this annual billing selected because we created our $12 per month plan but if users choose to like pay annually so we reduce the price from 12 to 10 so we can see our one feature is added here i can simply just click on this subscribe button and you can see right now our total payment has been added in here now user can just provide their card details or you can simply just pay with the test card so you can simply just click on pay with the test card you can see payment was successful because stripe has a test card payment system as well that you can just like provide a, a very basic test card details so you can see the payment was successful and now let's just click on continue and try to access our premium content so let me just click on this premium content button right now you can see i can access this slash premium content previously i was unable to do that because it asked me to like make the payment and then it will allow me access to this premium content so right now we can see because we have made the payment now we can access this premium content which is amazing and by the way inside this user section you can just go to your manage account and from here this is a new section which is a billing section and you can see user can find their currently subscribed plan so a user can easily like switch from here to a different plan or like just add a new payment method or just like have a look at their statement the transactions that have been made each transaction have the transaction id and for their transaction details everything is already managed in this billing section so everything is fully developed so far you can see within just few minutes we built this complete authentication system we built this complete billing system where users can actually make payment and then there is a premium content Content that users can actually access after making the payment so this is how easy it is now using clerk to build a complete full stack application or to complete like any kind of SaaS product if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video